Okay, hello all the crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games, and I still seem to have the, uh, the scale of the application surface reduced a little bit. That's a, uh, that's a good way to introduce what I did in the last episode, I suppose. Uh, in the last, in the last one of these videos, a bunch of these screen-related settings were, were implemented. So, um, the, uh, the resolution itself, the, the frame rate, the target frame rate, the, uh, potential scale for, um, the, for, uh, for the resolution that the game is drawn at. And uh, today, I am going to be doing, once again, menu stuff, but it is not going to be gameplay menu stuff as much as it is going to be, um... Uh, God, uh, main menu stuff. And I will be starting to, uh, starting to move in the direction of, of a level select. I don't think I'll get there today. Uh, we'll see how, how long this takes, but we will, um... We will start to do menu stuff. So, uh, right now, all the menus in the game are implemented as as basically layers of objects in the room editor and we have uh, we have different things for like would you like to quit the game we have the settings menu which i've been playing with we have the uh, the main pause menu um the various game overlays when you select a tower when you build a tower that sort of thing and that is going to stay stay as it is but i'm going to um i'm going to create a separate game mode in which basically every every gameplay everything is is going to be disabled and there's going to be a separate like main menu um ui layer section of a uh, section of elements which are going to be drawn when when you're on the title screen uh let's see i'm going to call that can i create a group of by the way before i do this can i create a group of assets that's what this folder is right i can i can do that okay gameplay stuff i am not allowed to have spaces in that name gameplay underscore stuff Perfect. So all of the uh, all all of these, please, can go into. I'm only allowed to drag one at a time, apparently. All of these can go into the gameplay stuff folder. Uh, user defined layer depths are not adequately spaced. Yeah. Uh, the the layer depth doesn't concern me, as long as, um, as long as the objects are separated onto the layers that I want them to be separated on, because that's the important part. That is how that I know um. Different different parts of the UI can be turned on or off at various points. So let me create a title screen stuff. Let me create that. And what is this guide mark? Is that is that just there for? What's that there for? Is that just there so that I can like visually lay stuff out in the room editor? Never seen it before, honestly. I can create another one. Huh? It seems to when I click and drag on the ruler. Uh, they seem to, uh, they seem to appear. All right, well, whatever. Uh, title screen stuff. Let us put our UI title screen over here. And I'm going to, uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to draw, like, a sprite, which is the game's logo or something. I don't even want to think about game logos right now in the middle of the room. And there's going to be a... A little ray cast blocking um, thing on the side here. Not that it really matters because we don't need to. Not, you can't click on things in the world in the title screen, so uh, this is just really just going to be there so that there's a bit of a background for um, for the other UI elements. And then there 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 would be things such as uh, probably new game, load game. I don't know if I'm going to deal with different like save files or anything like that. Probably not. Um, so in that case, maybe start game, quit game, settings, credits, credits are things that appear in games, uh, something like that. So we can, uh, first I'm going to set the alignment to FA underscore right. Uh, top is fine because we are in the top, uh, top, top right of the screen. Uh, same thing with the, the background, uh, FA underscore right. And all right, I'll I'll keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. I really like that expression, don't I? And the button name can just be start. The on click can be filled in. Uh, where are we going? On click can be a function. Show message. Click the button, something like that. Uh. If I want to, I can I can like name this in a helpful way. 
we can call it start button or something like that. And we can uh, we can duplicate this a couple times again. Maybe um, I don't know, delete save data or something like that. That might go uh, that might go like inside the level select of some sort or another. Might want to keep the uh, might want to keep the title screen a little bit more minimal. Uh, but settings because those are important. Uh, settings instance settings button and uh, on click is on click is uh, already there um credits i said that's another another thing that is important to have uh credits even though like i've been working on the solo there there are assets that have been made by other people like the, the kenya models and stuff and i'm sure i will not be making the audio for this game myself and and that sort of thing. Plus, uh, ye old uh, Patreon, Patreon supporters, and that, that that will all be uh, that will all require crediting, um, at some point or another. And uh, quit game. All right, I think that's good enough. And this is going to just sort of sit there. Uh, all of the buttons will be. All, all of the buttons will be filled in later. Um, right now, I can I can make a commit, but there isn't really anything in it because it isn't really going to affect the game in any way. Uh, but I'll do it anyway. Laid out title screen. And uh, now I I need to uh, I need to go about like adding a game mode. All right, that's probably going to be the most of most of today. Uh, where are Graphical stuff, I can collapse that. Database stuff, I can collapse that. Um, I'm going to put all of these, like, screen settings things. Actually, this is just going to be settings things because it's it goes beyond the screen. It also includes audio and stuff. Um, what it was the end region here for? What does this pair with? Oh, it's, uh, it's this. Well... Now, now this now this region is going to pair with um, setting stuff. Uh, the initialize. This is everything that that you need to to change when you restart a level. When you start a level, this is going to probably be most of the level select. I can delete this commented outline now. I don't need that. Uh, game modes, gameplay, editor, paused, and I will be adding another one, which is title. Let us. Uh, let us say uh, gameplay mode starts at game modes title. I'll probably change that like once I'm finished with the title screen and I'm going back to testing gameplay stuff, I'll probably change that back to um uh, gameplay for testing purposes and then like when when the game is finalized, um, it can go back to title, but we'll see. Uh, these are all like gameplay methods, gameplay related methods. and all right, the uh, update. Okay, so game modes. This is where this is where different things happen based on which get like gameplay mode you're you're in. So um, I again, this can be a switch statement, but I'm fine with it not being a switch statement because it's really big. There's only a couple of conditions, and there's a lot of code in between each case. Uh, if game gameplay mode equals equals game modes dot title else and we can um we can fill this in later i don't there's obviously not going to be any gameplay but i don't really think there's a reason that like entities shouldn't be able to act so if there is um like an object which for example like animates or something or has an animation and that animation is checked in in the update method I don't think there's anything really wrong with with running that code in the title screen, but all the other stuff like the um, like the wave counter and and all that doesn't need to be there. I will I'll deal with that later. If I want to make an object like bounce up and down or something in the title screen to make to make things to make the world a little more dynamic, we can do that. Uh, we can um we can have like a couple enemies that are just like walking in a circle or something like that or whatever. Okay, so gameplay mode has been separated off from, from the title screen at any rate. 
there's also the matter of, uh, of drawing the map, I think. Is there... Okay. The only, the only special mode that's processed in when you're drawing stuff is the editor, and that's just for various, like, debug features. Okay. That's fine. I can collapse that. And the GUI. This is, this is where, like, most of the game, the title screen mode interaction is going to happen, because, uh, most of the things that you'll be dealing with on the title screen will be UI elements, if... Um, gameplay mode equals game modes dot title. And then convert the next one to an else. Uh, we can, we can have, uh, get GUI layer. And then that's really just, uh, God, what did I call it? I keep closing the room editor because I guess I can always just do that and make the sidebar go away. I keep closing the room editor to make the sidebar go away, but then I, then I keep opening it again. Uh, get GUI layer, UI, title screen, dot render. That should be all. I don't need to, there's no active gameplay, context sensitive menu that needs to be rendered. There's no, um, uh, I won't be clicking on stuff in the game world, so I don't need to deal with a player cursor over UI thing. Resetting that. And this should just, uh, this should just show me a couple buttons. Uh, we're still gonna see in the background the, uh, the first level, because that is currently the only map loaded. I would like the title screen to have a different map so that you can see something besides this, but, um, come back. But that's, uh, I'll deal with that in a minute. So, uh, we appear to be playing with, we, we appear to be in gameplay mode right now. Uh, did I not set... Where is this defined? Oh, it's in a, it's an in initialize, and we are basically initializing the game. So this this game play mode equals game modes dot title thing isn't having an effect. We don't need to initialize this right now. Where is this called from? Uh, probably at the bottom. Yeah, this is all called from the bottom. Um, I don't think there's anything critical that's not being set up if I don't call that. There is, yes. Okay, excellent, cool. Uh, foot in my mouth. Camera dot render. Okay, so the camera's um, it looks like the camera's properties are not getting set. Camera. Um, this is only. Okay, this is. I I should probably run the camera's update method. That's really what it is. And, um in the actual update method here. So, uh, camera.update. And... This alone will not allow me to move the camera around, will it? Oh, it will. Alright, so I can move the camera around in the title screen. Not the greatest thing that you want to do, probably. I should probably find a way to turn that off. And, um... And to have the view and projection matrices set without having to go through that. Uh, next, player tower spawn not set before reading it. So the initialize, when the game is initialized, that is that is setting up a bunch of critical variables, apparently. Um, game play mode, I'll just... I'll just set that down there, then. Does it make sense to define this twice? No. Is it hurting anything? Also no. Is it... Possibly going to confuse me about where gameplay mode is being set if I don't like do it there probably so I'll just define this variable twice I might have something like go to like add a method for go to title screen or something and now now this is now this is up All right, that's uh, that's what I want. So click the button. This is all interactive. I I can probably Quick game. I can just send the game. I don't need to show up. A, do you want to quit the game? Yes or no thing because uh, when you're on the title screen, that's Less of an issue to accidentally click that than it is during gameplay. We have enabled the title screen. Uh, let's start implementing these things, I suppose. Actually, uh, for the sake of having a logo, which I do not have right now for this game, or for some other title artwork, uh, let me just make myself a sprite. SPR, the title of the game. Uh, let me just make myself a sprite. This is going to be total programmer art. Let's uh, let's make it like magenta or something, just in case I forget to to swap it out for something later. Uh, resize frames. 
Um, it is something like 320 by like 240 or something. That's fine. Uh, that's more or less rectangular. And add a title, please. Bold. Can I center align this? Can I set the alignment of of the text? Doesn't look like I can. I, I, feels like an oversight. Anyway, uh, I also I also do not think I can I can drag around that without moving the whole layer. That also seems like an oversight. All right, well we have a we have a title card, and I would like to. I could make myself an asset layer in the room and just drag and just drag that sprite onto the asset layer, but that'll make it a little bit annoying to turn on or off. I think so. I'm going to make myself a uh, a new UI type, a new UI element type, and it's just going to be um basically a sprite. Where's object? Object UI sprite, and it's going to. Um, inherit from uh, graphical stuff, user interface, uh, parent UI, and it's going to have a, a sprite. Can I override this? Thank you. Uh, we're going to have a sprite. Actually, we'll just, the sprite index will do. I, I don't need to override that. And... God, how is how is the uh, how is the render ha handled? I'm just gonna copy paste this and um, add my own render method, and it's gonna the update is fine. Uh, the enabled is not something I really need because um we're just gonna be drawing a single sprite. And it's going to be sprite image, sprite index, image index is fine. Uh, I can I can really just say draw self, can't I? Don't need any of the other nonsense. All right. And this can uh, this can go in the title screen. So UI sprite, I can assign a sprite of. Can I not assign a sprite in the room editor? I can set the color. I cannot set the, like, the sprite index in the room editor, at least I don't think. Really? That seems like something you should be able to do. All right, sprite index equals that. And this should, this should draw that god-awful, like, title card, whatever you want to call it in the, uh, on the title screen. Um... Offset X not set before reading it. Aren't we? Oh, I'm not calling event inherited, am I? Also, uh, I, I can, I can center this. Then at least I, I'll, I know where the sprite will be. And if I center it in the room editor, um, like, at least horizontal, at least vertically, like here or so, um, uh, the sprite will be centered. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to inherit the event parent event, like that. Okay. All right, there we go. We have a title card, barely, and we have some 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 buttons. Okay, next order of business. Uh, I'll implement some of the buttons. We'll start with the easiest ones. The the uh, the, the quick game one. That's going to be e the easiest. I in the other in the other quick game buttons. I've I've done things like just wiring this directly to game end, which is allowed. Uh, that's probably the easiest solution. I, I could have it open up a would you like to quit the game prompt. Would that be, would there really be a downside to doing that? Probably not. There, I don't think there's really going to be a downside to doing that. Um, so let me just uh, real quick see the code that is that is running this. Um, current current pause screen is uh, is controlling the, what we're drawing. Okay. Yeah, all right, that makes sense actually. I might I might do something similar for for the title menu. Uh, instead of current call screen, it'll be uh, current title 
uh, screen. And the, uh, I'll duplicate, I'll duplicate this, drag it into the title screen stuff, uh, UI title quit. Like that. Uh, UI underscore title underscore quit. And now we need to actually do something with this, with this current title screen thing. And that is going to be, um, that is going to be this. Uh, actually, no, I'll just initialize that to an empty string. Uh, and then we can, uh, no. Because at some point I will want to turn this off, like if you enter a level select or something like that. Okay. Uh, we will be drawing this as our as our title screen in in title screen mode uh, when you when you click on the game end button we will we will go to to this one over here and in a minute I will implement the yes no choices on that uh, obviously that menu is not going to have the return to menu option because we're already there but render cannot be resolved Why? Also, that should go above the above the main the main screen. Why could render not be resolved? I did spell it right, didn't I? I am indexing them, right? There's no reason that there's no reason that UI underscore title underscore screen shouldn't be like indexed by um, the GUI layer system, right? Yeah, in this section of code, we're just grabbing all the UI elements indiscriminately. We're not worrying about, we're not worrying about like registering each, each layer to anything or anything like that. Um, there must be something else that's wrong. Uh, if I if I showed debug message that we are going to see a string and it's going to be the string containing um, containing what we're looking for, right? UI title quit. Okay, it is, and it's spelled right. So then, taking that a step further, if I were to type of this. It is undefined. Why why is it doing that? Okay, so uh what what that ended up being is that Game Maker for whatever reason did not realize that um the objects on that layer were actually there and therefore therefore uh none of them were actually added to this to this list of UI elements um at that depth and and therefore when you try to when you try to get that layer there's nothing on it and Game Maker just crashes. I'm not sure why it did that. That feels like a bug in Game Maker. I duplicated the layer instead of creating a new one, which may have been where things went weird. And uh, I did notice that at some point a uh, a blank ID reference uh, message did pop up in the in the in the output when I ran the game, which sometimes means that like stuff got unlinked in the room editor and Game Maker sort of lost track of it. And that was a bit of a problem at the beginning of the 2.3 beta, but I haven't seen it in a while, but it's possible that there are still issues with that when you duplicate layers in 2.3.2. Anyway, if I were to quit game now, we would have this screen popping up, which is um, more or less what I uh, what I am looking for. I, uh, I, ba I basically just deleted the, the layer and recreated it myself, and I will be setting the text to Instead of button name, would you like to quit the quite quit the game? And there's just going to be a simple yes no, uh, a button for yes. Uh, that size is probably correct. I need to set the alignment fa center, fa middle, like that. 
Uh, I think I need to, to set the alignment for these also. F-A, yeah. All right, there we go. I wish we could preview text on these things. This is going to be inst underscore no quit. And the, um, the code that runs is just going to be kind of the opposite of this. Uh, we're going to be setting the current title screen back to what it was originally. Um, like that. And UI title screen. And the uh, the other one is going to be the actual quit button. The actual quit button. Uh, you are, uh, inst underscore quit yes. And that's going to be good enough for us. And this one on click equals game end. That will just end the game. And the, the other one will just uh, close that close that prompt. Uh, this should probably be centered on the screen. Uh, would you like to quit the game? Button name and button name. That doesn't look right. Uh, no is going to go back, and yes is going to is going to follow through. Uh, let me center this on the screen like that. This is a bit of a uh, this text doesn't quite fit nicely in uh, in one line, so I'll also move that down a little bit. And these uh, these buttons need names. This one is no. And this one is yes. All right, this should look better. Uh, no more text overflowing, no more. Um... Would the text still overflow or would it would it uh, stretch to fit? All right, it would. I, I should probably just put a new line in, in here or something. Anyway, no, yes. All right, let's. Let's break this up with a with a new line, uh, backslash n, like that. Um, I'd really like this to just be complete. Okay, yes, thank you. That works. Uh, I should probably get rid of a line of code of like debug that I added uh, over here when I was testing to see what instances were getting added to what layers, and found out that. Uh, the quit game screen instances were not getting added to those layers. Uh, we can make a commit. Quit the game from the title screen. And I've been recording this for like a half hour and I've only gotten that one button done. That's fun. Uh, next. I guess I'll add a credit screen too because that's probably fairly easy. Uh, it will obviously not be a complete credit screen. It'll just be like my name, probably the Kenny Assets. Um, is it wise for me to like name people's Patreon names like here and now? All right, if I accidentally like, I'll have the list on my other screen, but if I accidentally show anybody's like real name, email or whatever, I'll just uh, screen my myself and post and, and like blur it out or something. Uh, credits, UI title credits. And this can be a bit of a, um, this is probably going to be a bit of a bigger screen uh, because it's probably going to be a bit more text on it. Uh, let's see. There'll be a bunch of text labels. Uh, and again, I will need to set the alignment like that. And also in the UI background, And there's going to be a, a back button, obviously. Everything else I can just uh, copy and paste what's already there. Uh, this is going to be a button, center, middle, and back. Uh, making this work, making this screen appear, let me let me do something similar to the quit game button and let me, uh, inst this is credits, right? This is credits, uh, inst uh, the, the screen that we're going to is going to be UI underscore title underscore credits. And in, in that menu, uh, when you, when you do click the back button, uh, we are going to
game dot current current what current current title screen it's gonna equal the uh, the main screen and this will allow us to flip between these I will fill out the contents of this in a minute game maker has a handy function called URL open which allows you to open a, a web link uh, in your browser and it works on Windows it works on um, as far as I know all all platforms that have a web browser and I may like add a button that has a, a link to like the Kenny Asses or something like that. Anyway, this does what it's supposed to. It looks reasonably centered. Um, uh, let's make this commit. Credits, screen, empty for now. And the, uh, the actual content of this is gonna be like, um, That's like my official name now or something like that. Uh, we can expand that a little bit. Um, and then there's like, as you can imagine, there will be quite a bit more of this um, later on. Do I need to, to split this up over multiple lines? It's not that long of a sentence. I uh, can do that. Uh, next. The big one, the visuals, um, three D models from Kenny NL. That is that is this website. If you've never been there, uh, he's got a he's got quite a lot of stuff, both for two D, three D, and and other things. The specific the specific three D assets that I'm using are I don't know which ones they are exactly. There's there's a lot of them. But I will I will have a link to this website anyway. And as I was saying with uh with URL open, maybe maybe instead of a, just a text label for these things, um, I can have a button that URL opens when when you click on it. Like this. Okay, that's plain text. Uh, that needs to be quoted text. How's this gonna look? And then if I uh, assign on operator expected where? In here? Can't be in there. Oh, did I just like leave something hanging? Hang on. Variable color tint? Where? Seven B two D E F O B. Seven B two D E F O B. That what's that one? That's this one. Oh, uh, this needs to be a string. Do I need a I okay, wow, I put that in the color tint field instead of the text field. Oops. I was gonna say, do I have to put quotes around the string? But no, that is not the uh, that is not the problem. The problem was putting the um, the string in the in the text field. So that's a button. I I click on the button, and this page did indeed. Okay, I'll I'll do this again. Um, here's a web browser. Uh, here is here is the the button. I click on the button, and it opens. Uh, if you've never seen URL open before, it's a it's a handy function, uh, particularly when dealing with things such as credits. Um, I'll go with that. For that matter, I might, like, put a, a link to either my itch or GitHub or YouTube or something on, on this button also, but it's, uh, we can work on that. I don't think there's anything else presently in the game that I'm using. There's the skybox, which is from Open Game Art, but that's almost certainly going to be gone by the time the game is finished, uh, replaced with something else. Uh, earlier on, there was, there was Snap. From, uh, from Juju Adams, but that's not there anymore. I, uh, I consider using Scribble for text, but honestly, I don't need any fancy text effects, so I'm not gonna bother adding a, a text renderer or anything like that. I'll just uh, I'll just duplicate this button and say like, please fill in, please fill this in when you add like audio or something. That's good, right? And the uh, 
on click. Yeah, whatever. We'll fill that in too. There's also the matter of the, uh, as I said, Patreon names. And if I can bring up that list, if I can put that in alphabetical order. Okay, I have my list, past, present, and future. Hey. Um, I am going to make this a little bit bigger because this is a list of names which may take up a lot of space. Um, obviously, if anybody else pledges before before this this game is finished, I will uh, I will update the list. Uh, I will. I'd better update the list. What am I talking about? Uh, for the for the text label, which is going to contain these names, um, instead of putting this in one of the variable definitions window, I think I'm going to actually um, put this in here because I um, I can use a string literal with the uh, preceding the open quote with the um, at symbol. Uh, this is going to be a long na a long list, and I don't want to have like a, a million characters in the variable definition window because that's going to get a little messy. Um, this is what like people write in in such situations, right? Thank you to ye old Patreon supporters. Uh, names. Let me type these out in uh, in alphabetical order. And of course, the first one. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I uh, the first the first name has a uh, an accent and a cute accent over the I, and uh, I do not have that symbol on my keyboard. I can I can just Google this right. A cute a cute accent I. All right, there we go. I think that's the only special character in this list. All right, I don't see any more special characters uh, ready to uh, ready to to confuse me uh, in this list. So let me just uh, let me just type these out. Okay, there we go. That's the list. There's also one more person who has a, a special character at the front of the name, which sort of throws off the um, alphabetical listing on, on Patreon. But uh, I, J, K, uh, Mr. Indie Punch. All right. And uh, again, I will update this list as necessary. I'd better update this list as necessary. Um, I'm also double checking this just to make sure I spelled everyone's name right, because I did mess that up once, and that was almost awkward if I didn't catch it at the last second. Catherine Kirkshank, uh, I'm sorry, my brain just has trouble with, with yours every single time, so I really have to squint at that one uh, to make sure I got it. Anyway, this should be this should be all the names. I That's probably plenty of space. I probably don't need that that text field to be as much space as that, but better to be better to have a little bit of extra space on the top and bottom than to have text flowing out of the out of the box. Um, my font does not have the acute accent I character. That is okay because I can put it in. And also, um, uh, creation code. Let me just shorten each line a little bit because apparently that's a little bit too wide. Much better. And the font. Uh, which font is which font is this? Is this the font that everything uses? I think it is. Um, can I can I add range from code? Uh, that should include the the accented I. I don't think that included the accented I. Um, all right, well, we'll see. Uh, if I Game Maker Studio 2 has become unstable, please save changes and exit. I, I will do that. Thank you, Game Maker Studio 2. I'll, I was going to say I'll just run the game and... Uh, if uh, if the if the character is there, that means that it was added to the font correctly. Otherwise, I would just have added it manually. I would have looked up the Unicode uh, text code for for the letter. But okay, this video is also taking longer than I thought it would. I might have to do a level select uh, next time. I was expecting to at least get to like lay out the screen and and deal with the implementation in the next video, but this is uh, taking a little longer. 
All right, so let's reboot this. Uh, we can, um, I've noticed that is not the first time the font editor has crashed Game Maker for me. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know exactly what, what happened. Um, the last thing I remember doing was clicking the add range button and it's possible that, uh, that we still do not have that, that character. So if I were to look up, um, acute accent I, uh, what is the, what is the Unicode character code here? Um, 205? Can I add range 205 to 205? Would that do it? That is the acute accented I. Okay, perfect. Uh, when I clicked from code, it should have detected that in my uh, in my instance creation code, and it should have just done it for me, but no, apparently, am I not using the right font? What font do these things use? It's font game buttons. Do I need to just regenerate the font texture? Should I clear my cache? There aren't exactly any other fonts in the game, let's put it that way. And I, I do like me the Calibri font, uh, unironically. Okay. Game Maker? Why were we not able to render that character? Augustine, I'm, I'm very sorry if you're watching this. Um, I do think it's important that I, that I correctly put people's names on the screen in the correct way. And, uh, I'd like to, I'd like to figure this out. If I just added an entire range of, um, of accented characters, like 200 to like 250 or something, uh, that's a whole range of accented characters. Is that, would that help? Is... Is the character that I put in here slightly different from, um, from from what's actually here? And again, Game Maker Studio Two has become unstable. How about we don't and say we did? Add range. Does Calibri just not like um, accent accented characters? Is the problem with the font itself? Tell me I don't have to use Arial. It shouldn't be a problem with Calibri. That's the default Microsoft Word font. It should have every character under the sun. Oh, that did it. Okay. I, uh, that, that'll do. All right, so we can, we can acceptably, like, pretend to have implemented a, uh, a credits uh, panel. All right, added credits. Uh, that's, uh, that's good enough for me. We, uh, we got the characters in. Uh, next, the there is the matter of let me hide this so it's not in my way. Uh, there is the matter of settings, and I've already I've already written a settings menu, and I'd like to not like have to write another one that's exactly the same. This is just going to be exactly the same as a pause pause menu. Uh, what happens when you click on the settings button in here? Um, that's just going to set the current pause screen, and we can do something very similar indeed uh, over here on the title screen. And this is going to uh, current title screen rather than the pause screen. Uh, but I did not accidentally open save game dialog, did I? Uh, but when, when you click out of that, when you go back, one, I don't think there's an escape key implemented uh, to like go back to the, to the main um, title screen or whatever, and there probably should be. Uh, this is probably going to try to put me in gameplay mode, isn't it? Uh, or at least it's going to set the variable for, for gameplay mode. And as a result, the um, the settings menu appears and everything on it works, but uh, the back button does not because it's it's setting a variable that would put us back in gameplay mode. So I need to check for that in, in here. And I'm just going to slightly slight, slightly modify this. Uh, if game mode equals equals gameplay mode equals equals game modes dot title else uh, current title screen is going to equal the, the main title screen UI layer and we will be going back from there and that should be correct. Um, 
as I was saying, the escape key won't work to escape from any of these menus. It probably should. Uh, I will add a line of code later on that will that will just uh, cancel whatever menu you're in and have you go back to the um, to the main title screen. This crashed. Oh, I know why. Um, game that gameplay mode. Easy thing to forget. So, uh, importantly, this should give you access to all your screen settings and everything like that. Uh, if you want to mess with the resolution scale on the title screen, you can do that. Uh, if you go back, we are going to the back to the main menu. So, okay. Uh, settings button works on the title screen. And uh, the escape key. So when you're um, when you're playing the game, when you hit the escape key, this is what happens. Gameplay mode equals game modes dot paused, and current pause screen equals UI game pause menu. Uh, I am just going to steal this this whole thing over here when we are in title screen mode. It's right here, actually. Uh, current title screen is going to be set to TUI title screen. So wherever you are, whatever menu you're in. Um, on the title screen, if you hit the escape key, you'll go back to go back to there, and there is a, there is no need to set the gameplay mode because um well that that would just start the game, which wouldn't really um it's just it's not really how I want to start the game from the menu. All right, so start button start button still shows that like test message uh, settings. If I hit the escape key, we're going back. Credits. If I hit the escape key, we're going back. Quit game. Going back. Okay, I kind of feel like I should add a separate new line between this first line and, and the actual names down there. Uh, just to space things out a little. Let me... Let me jump right in and do that. Okay. That is everything I, everything I want to do now, I think. I've been recording for about an hour. And this is going to be getting a little long. I don't want... I don't want this video to run on the way the last one did. To put it that way. Uh, so instead, I will make a commit, and that is going to be that is a bit of a long commit message, but I don't feel like thinking of a concise way to both shorten it and to uh, to make you know what it does. Uh, I will be marking this as zero point four five as a tag. Uh, okay, I'm gonna end this off. So. We've got sort of a title screen now. Doesn't look entirely like a title screen, but it, it serves a lot of the uh, the purposes that you would expect a, a title screen to. Next time, uh, level select, and probably, although I'm not entirely sure, again, it depends on time, uh, probably I will be um, actually loading the levels from, from the files when you click on the levels in the level select and going to those maps. And um, hopefully, uh, when the game is over and or when you lose the game, which I guess would be a separate menu in and of itself, I will uh, I will go back to the title screen and let you uh, let you select another one. Okay. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I try to post about two game dev videos a week. One of these t uh, tower defense videos and one uh, one tutorial tutorial. If you're interested in the weirder stuff that you can do in Game Maker, including but not limited to 3D things, uh, feel free to subscribe and stick around. Otherwise. If you want the code for this, uh, a link to the GitHub repository can be found in the video description. Look for the 0.45 release. That's the one that I just made, right? Yeah, 0.45. I hope you all found that useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Connor, David Key, Edward Holt, Emily Coyo, Halo Factory, Posho, Sindra Larson, Tusk, and Zenith for supporting these videos. If you want to see your name in the credits or to hear yourself shouted out at the end, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.